Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to put a ribbon on this Underwood Touchmaster 5. It's probably from the mid-60s. It's a pretty neat machine. Full-size upright typewriter. But it does take a unique ribbon. Um call these T11s. I got the big hole. Stick my pinky through there. Can't do that on any other ribbon. And uh, so let's get started. We're going to take the old one off to start with. And it is behind these covers. Just slip them over to the side. They just slide right over to the side. Exposes the ribbon spools. I'm going to take this ribbon out of here. And this has got, wasn't working right when it came in. Look at that spool sticking. It's these cheap plastic reproduction, um, I don't know, multi-purpose spools that fit every typewriter, but they don't work at all. They're, they're bogus. If you can avoid these, avoid them. These things are just crummy crummy spools. What you really need on this is the OEM metal spool. Metal, metal, metal. Strong metal tabs. Definitely a slot here for for your control mechanism, reverse mechanism to slip into. These can go on either way so it's got this little slot on these machines for the ribbon reverse. Let's see if I can get this the right position here. So there's a little mechanism here. This particular machine too, these these were sticking, so you know you gotta make sure these move freely like this. Or you you might have a problem. So this ribbon spool goes on, you just line the slot up with that slot. It goes down and you can use this either way, flip it around. It's the same same deal. Gotta find a slot and line it up. That's really what you need. These other spools just don't uh, they don't fit right, they fit sloppy. They actually turn it's not even engaged right now, it's just it's not even it's not even grabbing the mechanism. I, I don't know how they even work. These things are just trash. So gotta find you some spools. Two spools. It might have the original spools on your typewriter. If that's the case, you can just rewind whatever ribbon you got onto those spools, which is what we did here. We just wound black and red ribbon, half inch, very common. You can get this from anywhere, including here at phoenixtypewriter.com. So, just wind this on the spool, doesn't matter up or down, your initial wind, and then connect it to the other spool. Again, doesn't matter up or down, there's a little little tab and a little fork in there. Just get in there and connect her up. So it's, it's in there. And wind, just wind a little on here, maybe three or four turns. So you get some wound on the core here. So let's just do that. Okay, so now we got our ribbon already full and gonna be full. Let me set this down to wipe my fingers off. I got some ink on my fingers here. This ink comes right off with a little soap. Pretty good about this ink nowadays. Okay. So, something I noticed about this machine, uh, most of these Underwoods, the older ones, would turn this direction but this machine turns this direction, even though it's a little confusing because I noticed there's an arrow on here on this on this mechanism that shows it turning this way. There's an arrow right there pointing that way. But if you uh, type on this, you can see just put some type bars. You'll see it's moving that direction. You get that. 
decide to get the side to move right down here in the front also right down here is a ribbon reverse lever it's kind of hidden right there and you got to manipulate that because this there it goes so now it's on this going to the other side so that lever just switches back and forth here it's kind of hidden down there where is it it's right there right. pretty tricky but it's there Okay, let's take a look at this. So it's got arrows on this ribbon spool which don't seem to correspond. So it shows that arrow. Looks like it should be going this way. But again, if you type on it, you can see it's moving. I guess that would be counterclockwise. So let's just uh, let's just go with the way it's moving. So you want the ribbon turning this way. So that's going to be the way this direction, and then back this way. So let's stick this spool on here, and we'll come over here and stick the other spool on here, and move the carriage over a little. Line that guide up on, and now if we uh, there's no real way to move the spool unless you type on the machine, so let's just stick it in the ribbon lift here. If your ribbon lift is working properly, this has got a dream of a system, works really well. These arms spring to the center and stay there. You can take your ribbon. Can't see it from here. Here we go. Damn. Camera's in my way again. So you can just stick the ribbon back through there and then if everything is working right this machine is really ingenious all I gotta do let's see if I can get some light here you don't even need to spring these little guys back see how they spring back and stay in the middle all I can do is hit a letter and they, they close that is the coolest thing. So put them in the center, put your ribbon in there, and then just hit a, hit a letter. And as the ribbon lift raises, it will close automatically. There's a couple tabs in there that. There's a couple tabs right down there where the light's at that touch, and they close it. Ding! Just like that. So there it goes. Alright, move some of these lights out of the way. Dark in here today. Okay, so that's going. Move these out a little more and make sure everything's turning right. So we should have that spool turning. It's looking good. So it's in there, and when it gets to the end, it's gonna that little mechanism will sense that there's no ribbon left, and it will reverse automatically. And you slide the covers back over, really, and away you go. Well, I hope this helps. This seems like a short tutorial and uh, ribbon lift. Um, here, of course, is black and off for stencils and red. 
we'll get us some red action. See this sticking a little. Might have to take a close look at that and make sure it's okay. Turn it back to black. Alright, that's how you do a Underwood Touchmaster 5. Good day.